A project to restore the Lambert Beach area at Brackenridge Park has again been given the go ahead, including the chopping of four dozen trees. In a six to four vote today, the city council approved a three and a half million dollar construction contract for the first phase of this project. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger tells us the split vote brought some strong emotions. The Lambert Beach area has been crumbling in Brackenridge Park for years. A city bond project is focused on repairing the historic retaining walls, stabilizing the pump house, and reconstructing the grand staircase. But there's been vocal opposition to how the city's proposed to get it done. So it's going to be hot, it's going to be unusable, and it's going to be not the charm that we know in Brackenridge Park. The city plans to take out trees it says are too close to the structures. Opponents say it's too many. We want the walls repaired and we want the trees saved in place and it can be done. Public pushback has already brought the number of removals down from the 70 originally proposed to 48. Another 21 trees will be moved. But opponents think the city should be able to save more of them and criticize the project's development process. There has not been hardly any changes as a result of these public, the so-called public engagement process. Four council members pushed to pump the uh, brakes on the project. Group. This has not taken enough time. We need to get it right. But the majority wanted to move ahead. Motion carries. I've only heard the argument of delaying it so people can have more public input, but I haven't heard the, the argument to delay this because there are other solutions that aren't being considered. Shovels won't turn dirt right away. The city has to finish getting all the necessary approvals first. But it's hoping to start construction this summer. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. It's taken a long time to get to this point in the Brackenridge Park project. And if you scan this QR code, you can better understand why. This will take you to a case that explains all about that project, the big questions about those trees, and the significance of the sites the city is trying to restore. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.